All right, Overwatch Ali here, and I already watched this uh, trailer, so I'm just going to watch it again and just kind of give my opinion about it. But this is pretty crazy. It's a Pokemon game that's borderline Breath of the Wild. So let's get right into it, break it down real quick, and have a look. This is really interesting. Now, the trailer doesn't feel like it's completely full. Uh, some of the frame this rates, some of the stuff doesn't make long, sense, long but let's have a look. Ago. When the Sinnoh region was so, still... So, stop right there. This thing right here is pretty interesting looking. So, we'll Only do a little a bit more on that. a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. So, Ore, this looks like it's like Fudo Japan or something. Or F Fudo or F Fudo? Fudo? Yeah, Fudo, I think. Bam, right here, Breath of the Wild. Like, no, no, like nothing else. This is this is Breath of the Wild, 100%. I mean, the graphics aren't as good, but... Uh... I mean, bam, I stop it right there. It is a Pokemon game. I'm assuming this is going to be for the Switch, obviously. Um, it's not a PC game. So I guess these graphics, when you put it on smaller, they might look a little bit better. But like the pixels on this are... <laughs> okay, and I remember there's a, a Pokemon here jumping and his frame rate was like one frame per second. So this is cool. I like this little thing. This is like kind of like let's go pikachu almost where like you're throwing the ball and uh i don't know what the aim yeah i mean that right there like literally what is this look this guy okay so i mean that's insane that is so bad but it's a trailer it's a trailer it's not the final game you know but i mean I watched this on my phone like 10 minutes ago and it, it seemed a lot less bad than this. But this here, the gameplay, the fighting, that seems interesting. That seems like that could be really fun. So I'm into that. This kind of exploration, top-down view. Um, here's, here's another thing. Are these our three starter Pokemon? I mean, that's really cool. I remember Cyndaquil and uh, I, I don't remember what this guy is called. It's been way too long for me. But this guy here, the uh, the the how howlet Hulu, I don't even remember. I'm I'm one of those people. I don't I love old Pokemon, but I'm really first gen, second gen. It's I just can't help myself. I played the games and I just there's too many Pokemon, too many names, and I just don't care for the, like it's like I have the ones I like, and then the rest I kind of just forget about. It's uh I'm a bad fan. Let's put it that way. But I mean, Cynical has a, a strong place in my heart because I did play him back in, uh, was it gold? I think it was. I don't remember. So that's interesting. Mixing up the starter Pokemon, if I remember correctly. Bam, right here. Now we see it a little bit better. This is a really interesting concept because like, you know, it's still a Pokemon ball. ball. We still catch them and stuff, but it's, it's a mechanical to open it. It's not the button. So... That's really interesting. This is almost like it'd be cool if in the game we could get to know a little bit more about the history of like the Pokeball and Pokemon and everything. So I don't know. I find this really interesting. I mean, I'm a huge fan of like Japanese culture and it's something I, I'm really interested in. So to see a game like this that kind of goes back in time to that uh, era seems very, very interesting to me. And then we got the big reveal. Ooh, so intimidating. Is this, um, is this the Studio Ghibli movie? Is this the Spirit of the Forest from, uh, I was going to say Akira. That's so stupid. Not from Akira. It's from, um, uh, Princess Mono Mononoke. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like Breath of the Wild. Princess Mononoke meets Pokemon. I mean, I guess actually kind of because it is in that era. So, oh, here we go. I didn't even see this on my phone. I wrote right, early 2022. Okay, so we still have a year to wait, which is kind of annoying, but 
still very, very exciting. So hopefully within a year, uh, they'll have time to get the frame rates a little bit better and hopefully make the pixels a little bit less bad. So that's it. I'm very excited for this. I absolutely love Pokemon games. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a comment if you're excited for Pokemon games. And that is that.